Why, hello and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield, and we're back with another Lotro guide today, my friends. So, today we're going to go over epic battles. All right, just to let you know right ahead on this video, this is going to be a little three part video. They're all going to be short videos, but they're all going to be three parts, all right? So, the first, well, the beginner stuff, right? Part one here. Where do we find the Epic Battles tab? All right, well, you can click this little arrow down here, or you can just click Shift B. It says it right there, but I'm gonna go and click Epic, Epic Battles, and we're gonna talk about this tab right here, okay? So, Epic Battles, you need to know a little bit about them real fast, are similar to, uh, for any new players out there, who this is probably for them, or a refresher course for people who might need it. Epic Battles are a little different than skirmishes or instances or raids, okay? An instance, by the way, is AKA a dungeon, okay? Um, for those of my friends who are from other MMOs, okay, who are here, and we're well, we're happy to have you on Lotro. Uh, so, instances, raids, we're not going to talk about those today, or skirmishes, but skirmishes have a little bit of similarities, but pretty much epic battles are big stories about, well, you guessed it, epic battles. Um, and uh, basically the main thing that you do in epic battles is you're kind of a commander. Okay, so it's a little different. So for an instance, right, you run through, you kill mobs, you tank the boss, you beat the boss, you do all the mechanics of the battle, and waha, you take the loot and you leave, all right? Same thing with raids, obviously, similar, just with a bigger group. And um, and then, of course, you also have the um, skirmishes. Skirmishes are a little bit more like capture the flag, capture a location, you capture it, and then there's like side little bosses and things to do while you go through the skirmish, okay? A little bit like instances with a little bit of a twist, all right? You have like soldiers that can help you in skirmishes too, little little NPC soldiers. Uh, but epic battles is more like you're going to be focusing more in epic battles, guys, on taking um, um, commanding troops, okay? So there are commanders along the walls, or let's say, for example. Uh, I want to talk about this map here in a moment and what you really need to know about um, order of doing things. Um, but basically, when you're fighting, um, there's commanders that you can give commands to. You can also repair things that are being broken, right? You can also shoot trebuchets and catapults, right? You load them. You fire them. It's it's a very cool system. It's something that there are it is in other games, but it's a little bit more complex than other MMOs I've seen in other games where you actually have to load it. You click load and then you crank it and then you aim it and then you fire, right? There's a lot of other things that happens. You're repairing things, you give commands. So basically you command the captain, he commands the soldiers he's in charge of, okay? We'll talk about that, why that's important here in a minute um, and also in the next two videos. Again, I don't wanna make these videos very long. They're just real quick guide videos on epic battles, okay? So one thing you need to know is to complete, to get to all of them, to have the option to you play them on that character, you do have to go one, two, you have to go through them to get to the other ones, okay? They're like prerequisites, right, to, to complete. So it kinda is a story mode. Really, the epic battles are mainly focused on the Battle of Helm's Deep and the Battle of Minas Tirith, right? Or the Battle of the Pelennor Fields, if you wanna be technical, like the book chapter, all right? Um, so, but again, I like to say Battle of Minotaur still because it's also over here. You have a battle at uh, Pelag Pelagar, right? I always say that. I always mess up saying that. Uh, so you get Helm's Dyke, right? Helm's Dyke is uh, the first one you can do. It's one or two player. You can do it solo. Um, it's kind of hard to do solo if you're lower level. This is very important. I should say this before we get too much farther in the video. You can do the cool thing about difference about epic battles and skirmishes, instances, and raids is that it sets your level to a hundred. No matter what level, you, you just have to, the minimum level I believe is level 10. You have to be level 10 and then it will set you to 100. So you could do this with a big group of people, which by the way, if you don't know, we do this, right? On live streams and stuff on this channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe. You can come join us on Crick Call if you'd like. Um, but it does, I would highly recommend that you're probably over level 50 when you do them, because even though it scales you up to 100, it's still, you are rather weak because your traits and armor, even though everything gets scaled up, it's still not, you're still not as strong as someone who would be level 100. Um, but it's fun, because then at least you can play without getting one tapped, right? One one shot, you're dead, right, as a low level. Um, but it's cool, and it also brings some people, like if you're max level, right now in the game is 140 for this time of the video, um, it kind of brings you down to 100. So you can all play together, it's really fun, right? It's super, It's super fun to do together. Uh, so anyway, uh, as you're doing it, right, you, you, you do Helm's Dyke first, then you do uh, Deeping Wall, and it just says it, obviously, three, four five it just kind of goes through and then you go and then you can do these one two three all right right two three right so it's pretty nice it's pretty cool very fun stories very cool you, you basically your character's living out the battles you see 
in the Two Towers book in the Return of the King, right? So it's it's super fun. Again, the first one is you can have one or two players, six players. You can have two or twelve players, right? For the del right. This one's a fun one because you can have your whole fellowship do it. You know, twelve play twelve raid basically. Um, and then you can have a one or two for the deeping comb. It's not a huge one. Uh, two or three players can do this one. This one can just be two, the Hornbird. Uh, two or six players for taking Pelliger. All right. This is basically helping Aragorn and the and then the um, the Grey Company and all of the cool um, Oathbreakers. You know, take that city and get the Corsair ships. And then two is um, for this one is two or three. All right. And then the Hammer of the Underworld is two or six. All right. And these are all very fun. They're very cool stories. All right, so now that you know that, um, another important thing for you guys to all know is the um, battle history, okay? So battle history basically shows what you've achieved. As you can see here on this particular character, I have done some things, but not all things, all right? So uh, it does matter. You can earn some rewards and stuff, and this is basically kind of your fun combinations and achievements, right, of going through things. You can read these. You can hover them. They'll explain what you have to do and what the objectives are for fighting certain bad guys or whatever. Inside of these battles, there are, again, the big objectives are going to be um, to repair things, to shoot catapults, to uh, do objectives, fill things and stuff, and then also, like, um, command your soldiers. In this game, it's very interesting. Yes, you want to kill the NPCs to come over the wall, but there is a point where you don't want to waste too much time on that, okay? This is a really important thing. One of my subscribers actually was helping talk about this the other day on a live stream. It was very helpful. Um, that you, you need to make sure you focus on objectives in epic battles compared to just killing things. Because the killing things are just going to keep coming over the wall. Because, I mean, it's an epic battle. There's hundreds of Urukai at Helm's Deep. Excuse me. Hundreds of thousands. And also at the Battle of the Pelennorn Fields, right? So the objective is to help command and make sure your men don't get lost, right? You don't lose NPCs, you don't lose citizens that are cowering in the back, they're NPCs, right? Non-player characters, right? You're defending them, uh, defending certain objectives. A boss will come out, make sure you kill that boss. That's where you're going to need to fight someone. A boss will come over the ramparts or something. And it's really, really fun. It's super fun. But hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of part one of knowing how to do this. Let's also talk about real quick launching an epic battle, okay? So you can use this to launch Q or launch it right here. Um, so you can choose how many, that kind of thing. Again, as you can see, I have achieved it on two and I've gotten a uh, this particular medallion, right? You can also do it six. I have not gotten it there. Again, I have not earned that one, um, which we might do later on the channel. It'll be fun. Uh, maybe on the epic battles playlist. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> that we have, Lotra Battle. So, but now you can also use the Instance Finder. So if you guys don't know the Instance Finder, I have a whole video on the Instance Finder to help you guys. But again, I'm gonna just minimize them all here and I'm gonna go to Epic Battles. So you can also find them all here and create them and see how their sizes are and stuff. Again, they're all set to 100 and cool enough. Not only is it just set to 100, it actually scales everyone to 100. That is only an Epic Battle thing, okay? That doesn't happen in skirmish, most skirmishes and instances and raids. So the, the setting to 100 is the cool part, okay, of this. So you can launch it from here or you can launch it from here. It doesn't really matter. So then, for example, I'll just open this and launch this real quick and click launch on this one. There it is. You can hear the horns of Gondor. And again, it says level 100, right? Travel now, boom, boom, okay? So we're gonna go in to this epic battle for a moment. Uh, we're not gonna do the whole epic battle because I'm almost done with this guy, this first video here. But I just want to show you a few things inside that are important. That'll be very helpful for the second video, which we're going to talk about traits. All right. So Helm's Dyke. All right. So this is uh this is the first epic battle. You come in here as a group. You're gonna again. There's gonna be objectives. Okay. So Helm's Dyke. There's a part where you actually have to have your war horse or your war mount in this game. And there's some horses that attack this area. You have to defend it. Um, certain locations you have to put fires out. You talk to this guy, he does a certain speech, that kind of thing. There will be things that you load with stuff. You can you can pick these up. We'll talk about this in the next one. But there's things you can pick up on the ground. Siege equipment you can actually build. You see it requires engineer rank 3. I need, I, I'm an officer right now with my traits. We'll talk about that in the next video, okay? Don't get too confused. But you can pick these things up. And you can actually, like, deploy things and build things and use them to shoot and help defend your troops as things are coming up these ramparts. Again, in the books, Lotra does a better job of following the books in the movies. Um, there was actually a first defense before the Urukai came in 
to the wall, which is back there, they, they attacked a rocky wall that they had set up, which is called Helmstein, by the way, if you're curious. Um, the commander here, so if you right click him, as you can see, he gives certain commands. These will be available, now they, there we go, they went available. So he has a heal command, these will be important for later, so keep in mind on this for the second video. Um, haste, it gives certain things, they have cooldowns, right? Let's clear them and you you should do these at certain times, when you Stand check and look if your soldiers are dying, right? If their health bars are going down, so you can do a heal, Boast right? So you can keep this open if you're near him to an extent, this little command tab here, alright? So that's one thing that'll be very important for, in, uh, for officers, right? If you're trading in the officer trees, anyone can do it, but officers would be the ideal one to do it. Um, this is retreat from battle, this is how you can just leave the instance basically, or leave the uh, epic battle. Um, here is one of the ballistas, right? So if I right click this, as you can see here, I actually have to build it. So there is a spot you have to build the ballista usually. So this would be good if you were an engineer, traded an engineer, right? So you could build the ballista up. Then there's things like you can, you have to crank, you load it and then crank it and then you can fire it and then you can, you know, aim it up, aim it sideways, aim it down. And you'll see a big circle out on the ground where you're shooting it, right? And you can shoot certain objectives that are coming that are big objectives to kill, or a group of mobs running up, you can shoot them, right? Obviously a lot of these are for looks, right? To give you, and then the mob group will actually run up, okay? To come and go up one of the spots, the ramparts. So it's it's pretty darn cool. It's really, really fun. Uh, again, I'm almost done building this, so you can just see the result there. Okay, so now I can load it. And then there's the circle I was talking about, and I can crank it back which will obviously increase the distance as far as I can shoot, right? Because I'm kind of cranking back the thing there. All right, uh, actually, excuse me, the crank just makes it where you can shoot it for a ballista. It's a little different for a ballista and a catapult. A catapult, you have to keep cranking and it increases the uh, distance, the shot distance. But see, I can aim up. So basically I'll lift it back a little bit to aim it up a little. There, see, it's backing up. And if you notice, that went out farther. And you can just leave it on, by the way. You could just not do anything. It'll keep moving up until you move or cancel. So if you want to try to get an aim, or you know, you can aim left. What if I want to aim left with the ballista to shoot something, right? So if you notice it turns left, you'll see that, see the circle? So basically that's how you're going to use it. You can also do upgrades to it. If you're an engineer, you might have special upgrades to add to it, repair it, and then fire, right? And then there's someone there. It would most likely kill that group of orcs that was running down if I shot at them, okay? So that's how you use the siege equipment. Uh, it's pretty cool. Again, these epic battles are awesome. I'm not gonna do much more than that in the epic battles because those are kind of the important things. There will be objectives like skirmishes that pop up where it will be like there will be a side objective. So as you can see here, we have our objectives, right? It basically, this is our merit, how good our thing is. We want to not let soldiers be defeated. We want our commanders to not be defeated and we want banners not to get burned. Those are our under goals, so zero, zero, zero. That's good right now. We wanna to try to let that not happen. If some happen, it's not the end, you won't lose, but you'll get less accommodations and less of a prize in that history thing that I was talking about, right? Uh, and then glam, you know, gambling must survive, which is the main character from the books, right? Um, and then speak to him to start the battle, which we're not gonna do right now. We're gonna leave the battle uh, because we're not gonna do the epic battle right this moment. So anyway, my friends, there is the first one. Again, I want to split this into three parts um, video. So in the um, in the second one here, we're going to talk about some other stuff. We we're gonna have one that's dedicated to doing. Um, Excuse me, wrong one, epic battles. We're gonna have one dedicated to talking about the epic battle tr uh, promotions, which are kind of like the trait tree of promotions. They're not called traits, but basically these are ways you can trait to be certain. It, it's very similar to class traits, okay? But it's your stuff for epic promotions. And you'll get points as you level up and do things, right? Just like you would with other things. So um, it's pretty cool, it's pretty awesome. And we'll, so we'll, we'll leave this next two for the next two videos. They might be shorter. And uh, you guys have a great day in Middle Earth. Again, it'll pop up as the second one up there. I'll have it up there once it's up. Unless it's the same. Yeah, I won't leave. I'll release them all at the same time. It'll be over three days. But uh, yeah, so it should be up there very soon. And you guys have a great day in Middle Earth. Thanks to my subscribers. And thanks to my wonderful Patreons for their support. And Scumly for being a Royal Guard. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate the support. You guys are the best. Subscribe button's there, guys, if I earned it. And that next episode will be up there. And the, with, within a day of this one being uploaded. And that over there will be a Lotro Tale, my voiceovers. You guys have a great day in Middle Earth, and happy epic battles, my friends. Save Middle Earth, work with Gandalf, have a blast, and stay happy. See ya.